Hi there, my name is Mike, and uh, I'd like to show you a couple things that I've done. I modified a trailer, as you can see behind me, to take a kayak on top and a canoe on the bottom. I'll show you how that all works a little later. Uh, first, I want to show you what I did with the canoe. It um, it tipped over easy. It's very heavy and it sets low in the water and when you're fishing if you try and lean we already sunk it once and so I decided I needed some outriggers and I didn't want anything really wide because it wouldn't go on this trailer so I found these coolers they're floating coolers made by Creek Cooler the, uh, they have two sizes this is the pup size, which is 15 liter. They have a bigger one, but I decided for the smaller one. You can see them right here. They have 15 liters of storage capacity under this lid. These happen to be pink and they were a lot cheaper, so I bought them. So I was gonna paint them anyway. And um, basically you can put ice in here and drinks. It can be dry storage. Uh, the seal wasn't very good, but I replaced it with an O-ring that I had specially made at McMaster Car. And so this thing is ready to rock. I mounted it on 1x3s. They're uh, screwed into the, into the rails with eye screws, four of them. And then there's a lower net that I can lay my uh, goods on, whatever I want to haul. Right now there's um, life jackets. And um, right here I've got a little place for this fishing pole holder. And I've got a strapped on gaff hook right here. And over there on the other side I've got a strapped on net for bringing in the fish. So it's nice and symmetrical. Then I put an axle through and put these wheelchair wheels on it. So I'm hoping this is a one-man deal because it never used to be. I'm going to see if I can get it up on here by myself. So here we go. Wish me luck. I'm old and weak. But we're going to try it. I hope it works. I put this pipe in here. Actually, let me shove this back so you can see it. Right there, you you bolts clamped on a pipe. See these these just screw on these flanges, and I can take this off, slide it back, unload it. Works out pretty good. This comes off in the wedges. Centers on the tongue, no interference. There you are, I'll tie it down later. Take a tie right through here, strap it down. And then these things go on here. They've got turnbuckles. So I take them right up to the canoe. And I'm not going to tighten them right now, take up video. But basically, I tighten these up until that goes up and wedges the canoe. And strap it, and we're done. Hope you like my idea. Thanks for watching.